47 days and counting until America votes. And tonight, Oakland County is at the center of the national conversation. Oprah Winfrey hosted a live stream with Vice President Kamala Harris in Farmington Hills. 400 people there in person, thousands more, including A-list stars, join them online. When the Democratic nominee for president arrived this evening, kids from the Boys and Girls Club were among those who greeted her. 7 News Detroit reporter Brett Cast is following the vice president's visit. Well, this broadcast took place from a sound studio in this industrial park in Farmington Hills. It featured Oprah Winfrey, Kamala Harris, a number of celebrities, and earlier today, students from the Boys and Girls Club even got their chance in the spotlight. As Vice President Kamala Harris landed at Detroit Metro Airport, some of the first people to greet her were 20 young kids from the Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Michigan. We pulled this together in uh, less than 48 hours and... Uh, you know, how to keep it, uh, you know, a little hush hush for, for about half that. President and CEO Sean Wilson says the Harris campaign heard about their work and invited them to greet her. The Democratic nominee talked to each kid one on one. One of the, the real special moments was seeing how our young ladies uh, uh, from the Boys and Girls Clubs were just, you know, just really immersed in the conversations with Vice President Harris. And, um, you know, they were just blown away by her kindness and uh, so we're, we're thankful for the opportunity. After the airport, the vice president went to a sound studio in Farmington Hills, which was surrounded by intense security and more than 40 police vehicles. While inside, Harris and Oprah Winfrey broadcast a live stream event coined Unite for America. You know, there's so much at stake in this election and ultimately the question before us is what kind of country do we want to live in? Harris took questions on issues like the border, reproductive rights, gun violence in the economy, featuring families directly impacted. One of the greatest expressions of patriotism is to fight for the ideals of who we are, which includes freedom to make decisions about your own body, freedom to be safe from gun violence. The visit marks Harris's seventh to Michigan this election cycle and third visit since becoming the nominee. This week in Flint marked Donald Trump's ninth stop in Michigan as both candidates narrow in on the battleground states. As for the Boys and Girls Club, Wilson says it's an opportunity the kids will always remember. What we pride ourselves on is really giving our kids world-class experiences and, uh, you know, putting in front of them individuals who can inspire them. And, you know, today was historical. They met the first African-American uh, vice president of the United States. That's pretty powerful. In less than 24 hours after this ended, Harris will be in another battleground state, Wisconsin, for a rally in Madison. In Farmington Hills, I'm Brett Cast, 7 News, Detroit.